Uh, this I pulled out of the Goodwill bins and it was a lovely surprise. Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about bread and butter bolos. Those are items that I sold on eBay for $35 or less, items that I bought cheap and sold for a profit. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. Um, if you're new here, thanks for being here. If you've been here forever, thanks so much. Um, I appreciate you all, and I'm excited you're here. Let me know in the comments how you found the channel. And we're going to get started with 29 bread and butter bolos. So the first item here that I sold are these troll earrings. I think I pulled these out of a doll. Um, a lot of times I will pick up lots of like Barbies and different things, or I'll get them in mystery boxes. And maybe the Barbie's not in good shape, but I can sell something that is attached to it, either a clothing item or for example, these awesome troll earrings. Um, somebody bought this and this from me and their total, so they did a bundle on eBay was $16.25. And when you bundle and add items to your cart um, in my store, you will get discounts and you will also get discounted shipping if it applies to the item. So um, if you're looking to purchase from me, definitely try the cart first. I also have a coupon code for anybody that watches my channel. It's Bolo Buddies, all one word, and that'll get you 20% off your purchase. It does not work with the best offer. So if you just want to shoot me an offer and put Bolo Buddies in the notes, that works great too. No pressure to buy, just if you happen to see something. I've got like over 7,000 items listed. And if you guys want to browse, that link is down below. So this doll right here came from the Goodwill bins and she sold so fast. She is a Barbie beekeeper. So they got the troll earrings and the Barbie beekeeper and they were all in for $21.01. And my cost of goods was probably a dollar or less for those. The next item is this Hallmark keepsake ornament. It is a beer stein from 2012. And this one came out of a thrift store Christmas mystery box and I sold it for $19.84 plus shipping. This here is a Disney Elena of Avalar. I had to use Google Lens to figure this out. I had no idea who this character was. I could not find comps. I really, really struggled with this one. So I listed it kind of high. I did end up taking a best offer of $9 and the buyer paid shipping. And this came from the Goodwill Bins outlet. If you guys like Goodwill Bins videos, I have a whole bunch where I'm actually digging and it's footage of me in the store and you watch me dig. It's super fun. Definitely check those out. This one right here, somebody bought this. Um, it's a vintage Princess Gardner cowhide split key guard. This was listed a long time. This was definitely a long tail item. Would I pick it up again? Probably not. This also was sort of a long tail item. I would say it took over a year to sell, but these are Christmas coasters. So somebody bought the two of these items and they paid $16.73 and they were all in for $22.78. I don't even remember where I got this key holder from, maybe an estate sale, but I did get this at a garage sale for a buck. So my cost of goods was really cheap and I was really happy to see these two items go. This right here is a Walt Disney World hidden Mickey cat with mouse ears. And I think the same buyer bought this one also. This is super, super cute. Um, I bought a whole bunch of Disney pens at a garage sale and I have just been selling them off and on. And they, they do sell. Some of them are more long tail than others, but this one is adorable. And this one sold for full asking price of $9.29 plus shipping. Uh, coasters in general, I think are more of a long tail item. Uh, these were, uh, were these, they're called Pimpernel right here. So look them up. Some of them go for more than others, but great bread and butter for your store. Disney store princess Mulan. She is a plush and I got her to garage sale for four bucks. I did pay up for her. Um, I was at a garage sale. They had tons of Disney store plush and I just kind of got fixated on getting these plush and they were at five dollars each I think and I talked them down to four bucks each 
One of them was a big money bolo. I think it went between 50 and 60, maybe it was even $70. So I ended up doing really well overall. But this one, it only sold for $14.88. So those margins are not that great, but the buyer did pay shipping. ABC Alphabet Magnetic Numbers by Tootsie Toy. I have been grabbing these from the Goodwill bins. It's something new that I've kind of been trying. And honestly, it takes quite a while to sit the numbers out. So that part's kind of annoying, but they have been selling good. So will I pick them up again? Probably. But is it kind of annoying to list? Yes, most definitely. I sold these for a best offer of $13 and the buyer paid shipping. And these are really lightweight. So probably had about a buck or two in them. This one came from um, the buyer was a viewer and it is vintage treasure in, uh-oh, vintage treasure in PA with Barb. That's who bought it. Thank you so much for your purchase. I appreciate it. This is a vintage Bucilla Christmas down the chimney tissue box plastic canvas yarn kit. And this also came from the Goodwill bins and there were a lot of them listed. So I really priced my item competitively and it sold for $9.30 plus shipping. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, big money bolo vintage Bucilla. And when I looked it up and there were a ton on eBay and I was like, bummer. So this item probably would have done better on Mercari or Poshmark, probably not as flooded on those uh, platforms. I don't think I got this one cross posted. But uh, cross-posting your items is definitely a good idea. I think it's really important. Maybe that can be like one of your goals for 2023 is to get your items on other platforms. If you want to check out List Perfectly, that's what I use. I've been using it since 2019. I am a happy customer. I do have a video down below that shows you how to do it. It shows you how to list with their catalog, but it also shows you how to just cross-post directly from eBay to the other platforms. You can use it however you want. Um, if you decide you want to use it after you watch the video, you can use coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word, and that will get you 30% off your first month. Definitely something to consider. Those extra sales, it will pay for the subscription in no time. It's like such a great, such a great product. All right, this next one is this loving family guy. And we've got this loving family little girl. She's the sister. And I sold the two of these for $21.70 plus shipping. I picked these up anywhere and everywhere. These actually came from the Goodwill and I paid a dollar each for them. This one is really cool. This is a fun sale. It's a Billiken Good Luck Souvenir Spoon, Cleveland 1910 Queen City Silver Company. So this is not sterling or anything like that. It's just a cool spoon. And I listed it high and I took a best offer of $24 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $29.40. I got this at a garage sale for $2. Another thing to be on the lookout for is Radica handheld games. They do pretty good. If they are new old stock in the original packaging, that is great. Now this one did not work and I wanted to make sure it was working. So I opened the packaging because the batteries were out and I tested it just to make sure it worked. So, um, I had to mark it used for that reason, but it was in the original packaging and actually new. And I sold this for $18 plus shipping and I got it at a thrift store for $1. These are Weebles that wobble. And I got this set. I had a lot of bundles this, this time frame, And this set, one set came from a uh, garage sale for a buck and the other set I got at the bins. And the same person bought both of these for $43 and 40 cents and they paid the shipping. This vintage Precious Moments ornament is from 1995, Baby's First Christmas. I sold this for $32.24, and I just found another one at the Goodwill bin. So I'm super excited to get that one listed. But this one sold after Christmas. So I'm guessing somebody broke their ornament and needed a replacement, and I am so happy that I had it. So a nice little bolo. Um, I just priced it high because there weren't any others listed or there were not very many listed. I can't remember, but I, I priced it high for a reason. And I'm guessing that's why. Uh, let's go on to the next one here. This is a vintage Cat's Meow Village series. I pick up Cat's Meow when I can get it really cheap. I usually buy it in big lots at garage sales and uh, usually garage sales. And 
I honestly, I don't enjoy listing them. It's one of those things that I buy it because I know they sell, but I hate listing it. It's so boring. Um, probably because I buy so many and it's just overwhelming. But anyway, these three sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And I have a whole box in my money pile that I need to list. That's why I'm kind of like, Ugh, I don't want to list it. Uh, this I pulled out of the Goodwill bins and it was a lovely surprise. Um, it is a vintage orange semi truck and it's made in Hong Kong. That's all the information I had. And this one came out of the Goodwill bins. I put it up for auction just in case and it sold for $24.99 plus shipping. So that was definitely a woohoo. Here's one that most of you would, you're probably like, did she really list this? I did. So I bought a toy box from auctions for you. It was, no wait, I think this was just a T-Bowl. So it was a mix of toys and uh, jewelry and a bunch of stuff. I recently did a video unboxing of it if you want to check it out. But Auctions for You and Donatella Bottolino are YouTube channels that I purchase from. They have selling events and I buy from them. And then I sell the items. They basically cater to resellers. And if you want to source online, it's a great place and I will link them down below. But these two Nerf darts were in there and I'm like, I've got to list these. And I wonder if I can sell these. And they're the bigger ones. Let me show you here. Um, they're big. They're pretty big. They're like wider than the average ones. And I'm like, I'm just going to do it. And you know what? They sold pretty fast. I sold them for $6 and 50 cents plus shipping. So they were all in for $11 and 90 cents for two Nerf guard darts, darts, guards, whatever they're called. All right. This is another one that surprised me. And I've actually sold quite a few on Mercari. Also, I bought a whole bunch of these from a, um, thrift store mystery box. It was a big, big box. And I had a ton of these ready to paint items and they have been sitting for about a year. Um, I think I listed them. It was close to Christmas, maybe last year and they didn't sell. And I was really, really surprised. And then all of a sudden after Christmas this year, they have been selling like crazy. And I think what it is, is that people are buying these after Christmas to work on them during the year to have ready for Christmas, which makes total sense. But these are all vintage and fantastic. This one right here, I sold for $19.50 plus shipping. This one I pulled out of the Goodwill bins and you probably think I'm crazy. Like, why would she grab this? Because I knew I could sell it. It's a vintage bride and groom cake topper. Look how cool it is. I think this one went internationally and I ended up selling this for $22.75 plus shipping. This here is a vintage angel ornament with real feathers. This came out of a thrift store Christmas box. Not something that I probably would have sourced, but I felt like because it had real feathers and I've done pretty well with these type of angels before that I would list it. I sold this for $9.75 plus shipping. Rubber mounted stamps. These were really cool. A lot of them I had never seen before. I just made a lot. I got these at a thrift store and my cost of goods was $2 for all of them. And I sold these for $29.25 plus shipping. This is a vintage applause lamb. It's great word to put in the title is Easter. I do use plush and stuffed animal in the title because I think resellers use the word plush. And I think parents looking for stuffed animals for their kids type in stuffed animal to the search bar. So I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents and I sold it for $16.25 plus shipping. The next item here is this Pier One hand-blown European glass pickle. I pulled this out of the Goodwill bins. I honestly can't believe it made it. It was stuffed into this little like stuff, but still getting thrown around at the Goodwill bins. I sold this for $8.50 plus shipping. This one I thought was going to be better than it was. I paid 10 cents for it. So no big deal. I can't remember where I got it. I think it was a garage sale and I ended up selling them for $7 plus shipping. So just a major bread and butter, but I had 10 cents in it. So that's pretty good. Fisher Price loving family, always pick it up, but I pick it up in a large lot. So my money, the, the money that I have in them is not much. I mean, we're talking 50 cents to a dollar a piece not much at all, sometimes less, just depending on um, how many I get and where I source it. 
This one I got at a garage sale, so I probably got it really cheap with a dollhouse and all of the accessories. Sold this for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a Hallmark Ramona reindeer. Uh, you also want to look for Rodney and his friends. These are from 1986. They are a bolo. Um, some of them go for more. I recently sold a lot of four. I think it was over on Mercari. I want to say for like 80 bucks. It's in my Mercari video. So you guys can check that out. But if you lot them up, they can sell for more. Um, certain ones go for more. Some are harder to find. But if you see these, definitely, definitely a good pickup. I got this at the Goodwill Benz. And so my cost of goods was a dollar or less. And I sold this for $13 plus shipping. All right, you guys, that was 29 bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items that you can pick up cheap and sell for a profit. Some of these items may be sitting in your house, so get them listed. Thank you guys so much. Think about cross-posting in the year 2023. Um, maybe it can be like your new thing. Let me know how it goes if you decide to do it. Um, thank you for being here. Uh, I don't know. Leave me an emoji of an owl or just write the word hoot. Thanks so much. And like, comment, subscribe, and share. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here, a subscribe button here, and a, another video here. Here is the video. Here is the subscribe. So definitely check out another video. Thanks for watching.